Hey folks, I got on Runway and I learned really awesome ways to use the 3D texture. This is what you're seeing, the cube. The first part was the sphere and I just type in the text prompt. I get a really unique looking graphic. Then I go into MS Paint, see this? And then I resize it and try to reposition it. And I create nice unique patterns that I wanted to create for t-shirts. Now I'm using this in conjunction with Teespring to output, whether it's a t-shirt or it's an apparel, you'll see uh, whatever type of apparel I have that I'm gonna tie it into. I also tie it into book bags, things like that. So it's really, really unique. You'll get to see as uh, time progresses. So now I'm moving back to MS Paint. I rotated the birds that I created and then I went in to AI uh, magic tools for image to image trying to create other unique creations playing around with the style went to cosmic style uh, changed a little bit of the prompt the weight prompt and then kept iterating just to see what I could do further went in and then I went to use erase and replace to fix the bird's eye just to show that style of what you can do with it. Now Runway ML is pretty powerful. It's an AI that is utilized to create video, but you can go in and stylize AI art as well for the new tools that they have for AI magic tools. So what I'm doing here is image to image again. I brought in one of the iterations of the birds and now I'm turning those birds into unique looking stylized background type uh, graphics so that I can use this for my creations that I'm trying to come up with on Teespring and you'll see like I said a little bit towards the tail end of this video so now I'm coming up with panda bears I'm coming up with all kinds of different iterations but the whole idea of using the 3D texture starting out to initiate it is pretty much to come up with the tile because it has a tile feature and now I can create multiple you know tiled scaled out graphics that really look unique in the same pattern so basically I can create my own brand using AI art tools through runway so I highly recommend for y'all folks to try out runway it's a free tool at a certain level and then you can scale it out and pay for it if you want to to increase your capabilities as you go further and further into using it now here goes Teespring highly recommend for content creators who are into AI art to look this up and try to get your Teespring account going because you can tie it to your YouTube channel and I'll show you all that towards the tail end of this video as well I'll bring you to my YouTube channel where I have my Teespring actual site built in so this is the editor for Teespring you just basically create off of your graphic and use the editor as you see fit uh, what I recommend is to upscale your graphic before you do that and I'll show a tutorial on that if y'all folks don't know how to upscale I'm out of here and I'll see you next time peace